Good morning, this is Talon with Old Guy Stuff at Busy Corner Lane. And this morning, I'm going to do a bit driver depth comparison on these three knives, all made by Victor Knox, the Boatsman, the Gardener, and the Ranger Group 79. Okay, now, of these three knives, the only one that actually came with the bit driver exposed was the Boatsman. Okay. And you kind of can see it in this part right there. <clears throat> the um, the other two knives, the Gardner and the uh, 79, did not come with that exposed, but I exposed them and made a video on how I did that. Now, I did get a comment back on one of the videos that um, Victor Knox only uh, exposed it on their, their more thicker knife, which is the Boatsman. I mean, we can look at this and see that the Boatsman is uh, definitely much thicker than the 79. And it looks to be possibly a little thicker than the um, Gardener. Okay. So, I want to see what that depth comparison is. Now, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use my digital caliper here. And between uh, each tool, I'm going to reset it to zero. Okay, and I'm going to do my readings initially in millimeters and then go to inches. And I'm going to uh, only write this out as uh, two decimal points, like 0 0.55 um, or whatever the decimal points are. So if I get a three decimal reading, I'm going to round it to the two decimal points. So let us begin. Let me show you how we're going to do this here then. Okay. I'm going to zero, and then I'm going to expose my depth gauge here. I'm going to put that inside the hole. Where the driver goes, I'm going to slide this down. Okay, now, put that slid down. I'm going to take and I'm going to adjust this screw and tighten it up so it's not going to move around on me. So I got a 14.12 millimeters. 14.13, oh, I guess it was like real, real close. 14.13. Write that down. When I convert that to inches, I get a 0 0.556. So I'm going to call that 0 0.56 because I'm going to round. That's something like nine sixteenths of an inch or something like that. Let me check real quick. Pretty close. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my millimeter setting. Put it all the way in and re-zero it. Like that. And now I'm going to go with the gardener. Same test. Same thing. Okay. So we'll kind of zoom in down here. See if I can... Sorry for the blurriness. There we go. So same test. Put my depth gauge in there. Push it down. Turn the knob. Pull it out. Okay. Pull it out. And I get a reading of a 14.37. Oh, let me write that down for my millimeters. Go to my uh, fraction equivalent to that. 0 0.566, so we'll say 0 0.57. Set that aside. And then we'll go for the Ranger Grip 79. So we'll zero it out. Get back to my millimeters here and zero it out. All right. Get that down in there. I know this one is definitely going to be a, a much lower number. I got a 9.72 millimeters. Okay. 
my fraction equivalent to that is going to be a 0 0.3825 so we're going to say it's 0 0.38 Okay, now I would say, you know, readings could basically vary. Maybe my angle is off just a little bit and I'm not perfectly straight up and down. Okay, so I mean, maybe I'm off by one or two degrees. That's not going to give a very appreciable difference. Okay, let me see if I can get that more focused there we go it's not going to give a really appreciable difference a little bit okay and i'm not doing this as rocket science so if it's off a tiny bit like even by 0 0.1 i'm okay with that i'm just kind of giving a basic idea of the actual amount of metal that the tool is going to have to support the bit so I'm gonna go get a bit and put it in here we can see how far down it's actually going with an actual bit okay I'm going to take this bit that I have the socket on I'm gonna close up these blades and I'm gonna push this in through here and it goes in this far now granted you got the scale there okay so that does take up uh, some of the distance okay but if I'm looking through here try to be real careful with the knife blade open and I open this part okay so the knife is going in to this second um, piece of metal but it's not actually penetrating it so I would say that the second piece of metal is not really supporting um, you know rotational torque um, but it is supporting you know the vertical um, downward pressure okay even if just a little bit but it's not really supporting torque going through here okay this one is the gardener okay now on the 79 there was this much of the shank that was exposed okay but on the gardener it goes in further okay now if I'm counting if somebody's opened up here and I want to do this in a way where I'm not going to accidentally cut myself I'm not going to open up the knife blade here but it's going through one the, the bit itself, the shank is going through one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of uh, metal. And it's resting on the seventh one. That's the one for, you know, give it a little bit of support uh, for downward motion, but not rotational torque. All right. Um, this thin piece of metal, I really don't count, okay? But it's going through... Um, five of the thicker pieces okay so I think that's going to have some adequate support uh, but I want to compare that to the boatsman okay so I'm going to compare it to this one okay so this is about how far it went in for the 79 okay and it goes in the same amount or it looks like it's going in the same amount as the uh, gardener so let me pull this open a second so I can see more. And I don't even have to open a lot of stuff up. But for the thicker pieces of metal, uh, including the one that the scale is resting on, I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that is the same amount as the garner. So if I was going to use this, you know, say with a small socket um, to tighten up or loosen, then I'm pretty confident it's going to do that without damaging the boatsman. And if I'm going to be confident that won't damage the boatsman, then I will also be confident that it will not damage the garner. However, I might not want to do it with the 79. But my main idea with this is quite often I need to drill some holes that it's about a quarter inch uh, by, you know, in diameter and maybe about two inches deep. And the awl that comes on a lot of these are, is not going to do that. So if I can put a drill bit in there, 
uh, like with the hex shank, then that's going to be very helpful for me. So that was my whole idea of wanting to do this and expose that. So uh, many thanks to uh, the person that mentioned this about the uh, the depth, basically. And I'm going to put his name in the description so you get credit for that. Um, I hope this video helps people out with information. You know, you may decide, well, nah, I don't really need to do it with this particular tool then. Like, <clears throat> if you're not going to be drilling, then you probably don't need to do it with that. But if, you know, if you think you're going to be cranking some sockets on your uh, truck battery or something, well, maybe you don't want to go with that. You want to go with a regular ratchet or a wrench. Okay. Uh, my name is Talon. This is Old Guy Stuff at Busy Corner Lane. Hit the like button if you like this. Um, leave some comments if uh, you have some uh, something to say because I usually will try to address that and have a oh yeah hit subscribe if you inspired it's early morning guys sorry um, subscribe if you feel inspired to do that and have a safe happy peaceful wonderful day and goodbye